It's a beautiful day to go fossil collecting along the Jurassic coast, east of Lyme Regis. It's a lovely sunny day here at Lyme Regis. I'm looking back towards the town here. I'm heading out on the low tide mark, looking for fossils. It's a really big low tide today. I'll be able to walk out to sea for quite a way. I've got my rubber Wellington boots on for good grip. Well, I've marched my way a fair way along the beach. Just here you can see, with all this chert material around and flint from the Cretaceous beds, I found a really nice shell in that Cretaceous rock, a bit of chert bed. Let's just wet it to show you. Can you see the Lovely shell there in Chalcedony. Let's try and get it into some of the really nice light. Right down to the shell's beak, I'm really pleased with that. Fossil shell preserved in Lime Bay Agate. That's a good start today. That is a rare find for me anyway. I'm just going to have a look ahead here and all those boulders on the beach at the low tide mark and see what's washed out into those rock pools and areas amongst the rocks. Not a bad start. Can you see what I've spotted in amongst the iron pyrites areas on the beach? I'll just show you some of the area. There's some iron pyrites formed in the shape of a like a little button mushroom sort of gas bubbles in the pyrite but uh, can you see the fossil that I've spotted in the fool's gold you've got another piece here of the uh, see where it's turned to limonite on the outside the fool's gold concretion that's where the air's got to it but here just underneath that piece of wood a little perfect iron pyrites ammonite preserved in the fool's gold There's the rest of the seawater flowing back out to sea as the tide really, really is very low. First weekend in March. Well, can you see what I spotted here just behind the rocks? This bit here, cast my shadow over it now. Look at that. Clearly see some fossilized ribs there on that bit. Oops, I've got a bit out of focus. I'll put it on a fire focus there. Some fossilized ribs and on the beach here at low tide. It's an interesting little bit. So what else I can find? Well, I'm pretty familiar with collecting along the Jurassic coast. I started out when I was seven years old. I'm 52 now. So I am pretty prepared to find stuff along here each time I come out at the low tide marked to look for the fossils. I always hope to find something that's quite dependent on luck but if it's there I'll spot it a lot of the time. Whereas uh, if you're not familiar you need to make a start to get, it, get your eye in and the best way of doing that sometimes is to visit the local museums, the Charmouth Heritage Centre and look at the fossils that are on display there to get them into your mind's eye as what to look for along the Jurassic coast at low tide. The main thing too, when you're along the Jurassic coast is keep away from the dangerous cliffs. They're liable to fall suddenly and without warning. Well, here's an ammonite in this rock pool that anyone can come along and find at low tide. The ones preserved in the beef rock, the fibrous calcium carbonate. The old quarryman named this beef rock because it looks like a cut joint of meat almost when you break that particular rock in half. The best tools your eyes when finding the fossils walking along. Well, I'm all the way out here at low tide. different places. 
ice is on the beach. And there's a low tide down there in the distance. Can you spot the fossil in this area? I've just noted this one up ahead. A fossil coprolite, an ichthysaur coprolite there, shining away in the sun. That's one I'll probably have to polish up to make it look a bit more uh, better than that. It's uh, been eroded away by the sea's actions. Well, the one thing you always find out here on the Jurassic Coast are the Bellamites, the guard of that particular sea creature, the Bellamite. And you can see one positioned there on top of that bit of mud. There's the impression now. Let's see if I can find the rest of it. Yeah, it's just slipped down here, right up to the sharp point. Well, all the way out here on the low tide, just below this big rock, you can see I'll just push the weed to one side and then let it go back again. You can see an amylite wearing away right down to the calcite centre. Can you see what I've spotted up ahead here? Nice bit of the sea lily stem in the rock pool. Can you see it as I go closer with the camera? I've got some astonishing films of sea lily coming up in the future and uh, this is quite a nice one. The sea's got it quite gnarled on the outside, even quite rusty it is, it looks like. But look at those stems. Some nice stems then of the sea lily. Well, the tide's changed. The sea's heading in. I must get over these rocks. I'll walk over these lias ledges ahead here and uh, all the rocks. I'll get over those and then head down towards Lyon Regis with the tide now well on its way in. It was good to find that crinoid fragment earlier. I'll wash that up in fresh water when I get home. Well, thanks very much for watching. And please don't forget to hit the thumbs up button if you liked our little fossil hunt that we've been on today and leave some comments also for me in the comment section about any of the fossils that you've seen.